air cage. I spent ages looking at a little cold room because the evaporator is frozen up. Uh, they normally run it around 12 degrees and they want to run it around 6 or 5 because um, they're not maturing cheese in it now, they're going to store it for Christmas. And uh, we found there's no defrost heaters in it, so we were suspecting it's just frozen up because it's uh, not got time to do off cycle defrost. We can't get into the controller. It's not responding to the to the programming buttons. Um, to put a longer defrost on, I was just going to set it for like an hour. Anyway, I've not seen this run because it's been off all the time I've got here. I've, I've had the fan running, the wrap fan running on this off so that it would melt the water. It's a load of water dripping out the drain down there, possibly, I don't know. Anyway, fired it up. What do we find? Condensed fan is not going round. So, probably we've got a really warm liquid line. But not that warm because the weather's so cold here today. Um, so what that will do is it will make it just about cope to keep the room cold but it won't switch off. And because it doesn't switch off we don't defrost. So I think the main issue is possibly just that bloody fan motor has gone. <coughs> so just when we were packing up thinking we were finished we've got to start again. I don't know what size it is, 25 watt probably. 25 watt. Okay, got the motor off, we fucking zoomed in too bloody far. God help me. That's the wrong way. There we go. Right. Uh, I've just noticed it's, it's a four bolt fixing, so it's probably the original motor. And I think they do that to be awkward. Um, so. That might actually be 34 watt looking at that. I think I don't think we're gonna read anything off of that label. Well we might do. Might do if we clean it up. Um but that's gonna mean we probably have to drill some more holes in there, just just they just like making it awkward. Although actually we might be lucky. Because there's three sets of holes down the bottom there, if you can see. So we might be able to move the bracket back and make something line up. But there, that's probably the original motor, and I think this is 22 years old, so it's done well. Okay, we have got, it's a 34 watt motor, uh, you're matching with the stack height, so the where the windings are, that's a good guess of matching up the duties, the bigger the motor the thicker it is, and these are Italian ones, I've got the Italian Polestar ones because they're supposedly, well they're better quality motors than the Chinese Polestar ones, but just looking at this, the shaft length on that is a lot different. So, whatever we do, the blade has got to sit at the same place. So that, the motor's got to be further back. So hopefully we can make that fit, otherwise we'll have to oil that one to get it going and then get the correct motor for it. Okay, that's fitted on there nice. Um, we just went back from so the front holes to the middle, middle pair and then we've put this in the um, the slotted holes that the bracket had and set it in the midway and I measured the original motor off of uh, that pipe with my nut driver the end of it was just roughly level with the fan hub which is what that roughly is so it's it's within a few millimetres of where it was or should be so we're good there and it's not catching we've got the roughly even spacing either side because you, you can move that side to side on the bolts um, We've got this off on the stat, but with the fan still running inside, so if it had any more ice in there it could melt it, but I think that drain has stopped dripping. Yep, so we're probably fully defrosted. So we'll turn the power off before we get electrocuted. Get that wired in, and see what it does. Okay, got the wires connected in there. Uh, there we go. Interesting little electrical boxes. They have to, you know, you have to get everything almost just right, or so they don't fit. Very busy. Um, right, what's the lid? There's the lid. At least you get a diagram with the lid, though. Uh, that goes in like goes in like that. It doesn't go like that. It goes in. So bend in it for some reason. Goes like that, that goes like that, and then we put the screws somewhere. We don't know what we've done with. There they are. There they are. 
is cold, it's very cold. Where's my thermometer? Have I got my thermometer here? Yeah. Forty-seven. It's cold. It's cold and damp. It feels colder than that. It feels like it's uh, sort of zero. That's my excuse. Right. Uh, so that that's all back together. That's wired. Uh, fan blade pokey. That's good. Uh, fan. Okay. Uh, the little controller's going to do a little thinking about it. I don't even know if it's warm enough. What's the set point? Oh yeah, set point for 17 still. So let's see if we can do that. It's gone too far. Probably about six I think. Yeah. Fan works. Some side glass, I think the side glass was full earlier. Yes. Happy days. Well, you can see how you can see how badly that was iced up because that's still. I've probably been here a couple of hours, and that is still on the suction line. That's the old motor. It's really seized up. I mean, you can barely turn it. That's the evaporator, it's a little Searl JG3 I think it is, um, which uh, is obsolete. I might have put this in years ago, but I'm not sure. You can see how old it is, it's got the old uh, cage for the file when you had a mechanical stat. Yeah, oh, anyway, hopefully that, that'll be the problem. Otherwise we'll have to put some, there's no heater in it, if it does it again we'll have to get a, try and fit a heater in there, get one of those ones you, you can bend to shape. Um, yeah, cross that bridge when we come to it.